My brothers and sisters, older Catholics are probably familiar with the term or have heard the term spiritual communion. It's probably something which we've perhaps heard about or been conscious of, but never really seen a need for or understood the, the value of a spiritual communion. Yet right now, the notion of spiritual communion has become something of, of great importance because many Catholics right across the globe are now unable to attend Mass and receive Holy Communion at Mass. But our tradition has provided a way in which we can still, within our hearts, as an expression of our own personal yearning and desire to be in union with Christ, we can, in fact, do this by this prayer of spiritual communion. Perhaps one of the things that right now we can be very aware of is that perhaps we're really sensing within ourselves it's like a Eucharistic hunger. There is a sense that I'm missing something which has been so critical and so vital to my life, the opportunity of receiving our Lord in Holy Communion at Mass. This Eucharistic hunger expresses that within each one of us, because of our faith, our love of Christ, we long for union with him. The prayer of spiritual communion is simply the expression of this yearning of the heart, this desire for union with Christ. So use the prayer. Use it perhaps when you're watching a mass being live streamed or use it whenever you sense a need to be brought into deeper and more personal communion with Christ. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.